No, uh, Curry had to play D against Kyrie. He can't play. He can't. You can't guard Kyrie. That's what the problem was. I don't know. I think I think Clay Thompson and, and, and Clay go probably guard Kyrie. He's 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 the key element to change a lot of things around because if he get going, now you got to spread that defense out. And when you spread that defense out, that that's anyway. a lot of one on one ball. No, you not necessarily. Oh, yeah. Not oh, necessarily yeah. you ain't got to spread it out. If, if you got that one player, you got them two players that's not contributed the way they need to be, you can get by. You can get by. But Clay is a, is a, is a good shooter, and, you know, he'll, he'll get the job done, man. But I got Cleveland in seven. That's my prediction. I like the way you think, young man. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I've been listening. Hey, man, the man yeah. listeners agree with us. He ain't too mad today, man. We do got some more subjects to talk That's about, time. though. We do got some more subjects. So, LeBron, man, we was just sitting here. We was uh, watching. His house got vandalized today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Out in L.A. Um, you know, they wrote nigga and all the other stuff on, on the side of his house and all that. How y'all feel about that? Him being the superstar that he is. I mean, we don't know the facts to that story. True, true. I true. don't know. I mean, like, I'm quite sure LeBron don't live in a neighborhood where you can just walk up and spray paint his fucking house. You know And if they it, did. It can, it can happen. And but, it did happen. Well, then, what, 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 with, with, your, with your theory and, and, and logic, you will have to say it got to be somebody in that rich-ass neighborhood that did it then. Right, right? but I, that's what I'm saying. I got to see Wait the facts. Wait a minute. I just, I'm just trying to say this, though. It depends if they said, nigga. Or nigger. <laughs> now, I don't know the facts of this story, but what was sp- uh, spray painted on this house? I don't know. I, don't, I didn't see it. Yeah. So, if it was nigger, it's the finals. It was a bunch of drunk, high ass niggas running around, and they was definitely at LeBron. They were some haters. But if it was nigger, it was, well, some hating ass this white here, people. This dude here trying to justify the word nigga and nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a difference though. That's oh, it's definitely I, mean, a difference. I know it's a difference. It's, it's I know difference. I know the I know the ER at the end. That's for you know the that's the white folks terminology for us. But I know but nigga the, is our like ah right, right. sense of endearment for each other. I understand that, man. You know. But uh they say his house, you know, my my thing is like, come on, man. That, that, either way it go, whether it was white, black, or whether it was nigga or nigga. It's still stupid, man. This mm-hmm. this man property, Joe. You know what and I'm you, saying? You just yeah. trying to throw him off for the party of the finals, so he. That's a- what I was getting at. You know what I'm saying? But you know, that's why I'm the listener because I'm and, always getting cut off in this conversation, Chicago. Well, you got the flow now, man. And I get man. aggressive, and you know, do I guess you. this is what y'all want, why but you know, you me, do you, man? No, I he have, already we have a lot weed, more topics. Man. We have a lot more topics to talk about, you know, and it depends if it goes north. So what y'all doing for the finals tomorrow? Hey, whatever it is, we all need to link up. Maybe we come over here, or you I'm come down. on. Maybe, maybe we could do a show for the finals or whatever. Definitely could. Do a sports could. show. You gotta brush up on your sports, man. <laughs> man, I got a lot of shit going on in my life right now, you know. <laughs> and one of the hey, topics, right, uh, I believe that weed and relationships. So I can't wait to talk about that. Oh yeah, we we got, got some a lot of shit going you, on man. in my life, we Chicago. Some, I did a lot man. of shit. <laughs> well, you know, we just had to get we just had to get the finals part of the thing out the way, man. We gonna go on ahead and we gonna get back and. Well, goddamn, Johnny Cool. Yeah, Johnny Cool and came through with the weed. Just pearl this motherfucking blunt, Chicago. Hey, he poured that motherfucker like a real Cuban, didn't he? You know what? <laughs> I give, I give him a couple claps. I give him a couple. Hey, claps. That's I why wish I'm y'all quiet. Quiet. Shit. Yeah, y'all, y'all know. Usually, I'm not quiet, so y'all know I was in the background doing something. This man that asked for the weed. So you know, yeah, we go, we so go, we go, we go, we go, we gonna go on here. We are gonna take a small little chronic break. You know, yeah. let's test some music. Got some currency coming up, Mary. Then when we come back, man. We gonna talk a little bit about this whole relationship thing. Yeah, just three black men talking. Yeah, we got relationship problems and ain't scared to talk about it, motherfuckers. So do y'all. You got a problem with it? Say something. In that order. Be back to y'all in a minute. This is real radio, sucker free radio. I'm with the homie Saint Cool and the bad motherfucking mess. Yeah, that's-
eyes, then I blaze up A plate of breakfast that my girl chef up Morning pretty with no makeup Yeah, now that I'm woken, I'm smoking Lay my body in clothing Chevrolet doors open 4G autos rolling On the interstate like niggas was shooting at your homie Zooming in and out of lanes Booming a little UGK Got both my phones with me Hit me if it's about some cake Soldier about face I'm colder than Ice Age I'm polar, I'm frozen I'm golden, my name say That I'm all about my money Put some racks up every day In the studio, get Pluto How we lay tracks every day Mucho, loop though If you grind for it, man Get some shine for you, man But that money just ain't gonna no way to round for you, man Take your bitch to roll up something And she'll ride for you, man Otherwise, you gotta keep that hoe offside of you, man Tell them niggas that you with Ain't no more crying about it, man Planning, never taking action Pocket full of lips, wondering Why that shit ain't happen, homie That don't make no sense Niggas on this side be stacking every tape of brick And we treat this shit just like it's trapping And I'm getting rich You can tell from the strength of the scent A word I just lit, but I would never First thing when I wake up, I say my prayers and I blaze up. Get dressed sharp as a razor, and then it's back to getting cake rock. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. 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 All new live and direct show right here on Black Hippie Radio Entertainment. Y'all can catch this podcast at 10 o'clock on the website. Down here with the homie St. Cool. What's up, man? Now, I ain't got something to say real quick. Now, y'all, if y'all been listening to the show, my man and man listening and asking for the weed the whole show, right? <laughs> he showed The man got a big ass bun in his hand he for 30 minutes. Up, As we've been he going, he's been holding the blunt. Hey, hey, he ain't hey, even blaming hey, it up. Don't get at me. You know what I'm saying? saying? I'm sitting back, what? Chicago. What hand you roll up with, E? What hand you roll up with? Let me go ahead and roll up. <laughs> Smoke up. Well, yeah, man. We down here, man. We chilling in the player cave, you know, just having an open mic discussion that we're going to deliver every Wednesday. And y'all, like I say, y'all can catch it on the website. Um, the next thing we had up, man, actually this, this question here actually came from a listener, you know, um, he was telling me that, you know, he went to a female and, you know, they was, they was doing their thing. They was vibing and grooving and everything else. And, you know, you smashing on the regular and then all of a sudden, you know, the smashing stopped and she was like, you know, basically you got to. She's tired of fucking for free. You got to pay to play. And I was a little confused because a lot of different scenarios then ran through my head. The reason, you know, to be like, why she just all of a sudden do this? You get what I'm saying? One I threw out. Is it another dude? Two. Is Is she hard up on some money? I was just about to say that. I don't mean to cut you off. Three. Maybe she want to see how much of a sucker you are. Or four, all the above. Yeah. Well, since you put it all out there like that, I was trying to give the bitch the benefit of a doubt. <laughs> you caught a bitch damn, man. Yeah, I'm, come on, I'm, man. I'm sorry, but you know what? If, She's a whore, not a bitch. <laughs> my man, you, you're definitely right. All right, come on, y'all. Let's, let's keep it cool. Definition. Let's keep it cool. Man. No, no, no. Real women know the difference as well. You know what I'm saying? If she's charging the man and just doing whatever she gotta do and moving on to the next man to the next man and you out there being known for it real women can't even respect that so but that's a whole nother topic a whole nother day we're gonna keep it moving let's go oh okay what I think about it is you know what I'm saying Uh, it depends on where she was at in life you know what I'm saying if she got to the point where this nigga, like, let's say he wasn't doing his job like he used to should have been doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he not, you not laying it down. So, you know what? I'm not going to keep wasting my time with you, brother. You do got some men out here that's soft. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If, if he not doing what he was doing in the bedroom and she say, you know what? If I'm going to continue doing this, mm-hmm. sir, you're going to have to pay me because you're not satisfying me. Like, if, if, if he was satisfying her. Right. You know what I'm saying? That words never came out of mouth. 
True, true. I love it when it's the other way around. When you start off paying first and then you put it down, <laughs> and then they just start coming back for free, and you start noticing that. And then they want to lay around. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, it depends on him and her in the situation. You know what I'm saying? Cause, I mean, I don't know what's going on in this woman's life, but I mean, you told her to keep it cool, so I ain't going to say what I, I mean, want to say. I mean, say what you want to say, man. I mean, I mean, y'all didn't got it out most of just say what you got to say, man. Listen, if, if she's doing it like that, then it is what it is. Either you're going to pay or you're not. Like, you, you want to get cut off or you want to keep the, the wear what, Wouldn't that pop in your head to be like, damn, she got whore-like tendencies? Definitely do. Definitely do. And why would you want to associate yourself with a woman like that? You get what I'm saying? No, it should just be business. You know, if he caught feelings, you know what? You, man, yeah. sucker-ass nigga, man. He she start be. charging you. I mean, <laughs> would you would you pay? Let me let me ask y'all that question. Would y'all would I pay somebody? If, if, if a woman if a woman came, already? the same situation. Let's put y'all self in that situation. You digging the chick because you know he he, he digging the chick. You know, and um, what what would you what would you do in that situation? Because she because you got me in because times. you got you got to understand like. His emotions is involved in his feelings is involved in it too. Let's let's you know what I'm saying. Let's just get that clear. If I if I, if I was liking like on a he, if, he liked if I was liking on a chick uh-huh. for whatever reason, right, right, right. And she came at me like for a favor in hard times. Um, depends what it is. If I can handle it, then yeah, I handle it once, right. maybe even twice. But if you start trying to make it business affairs. Like no, okay, this is a transaction. Then I'm a trick, <laughs> and you a hoe, and just and that's just how it Call is. Call a spade a spade. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what we gonna a duck do. a duck. If it yeah. walks like a duck, hey, like this is a duck, this is the this is the live and direct show. This that's is not the beat is. around the bush and talk that you know? bullshit. You know? do live and direct with that shit. I mean, in in my category, I would label that as like hoe like tendencies. Yeah, because it's, it's a and, difference because it was she on because she was already giving it up. Right. And you, you know just going to say you can't give it up for free no more? Right. That that don't sound right. It don't. Right. That's straight. Like, what, what was you doing before you was giving it up for that's free? That's straight to business right there. That's business affairs. That's straight no, that, to business. Not, or, or, or maybe she felt like he should be doing something for her. Like, man, how many times did he smash this woman? He didn't really get into all these. Like, you know, I've been smashing this. That's what I'm saying. So she feel like, you know, take me out or something. You, you know been what I'm hit me. You been hit me all this long. All right. You ain't did and shit. You, mean, you, you ain't know done what? nothing? Damn, now that's deep. Are we thinking from a woman's point of view? I don't want to say that, yeah, right. but you, you can't know, say that, we're looking God, at it from an from, open from, mind. Yeah, open mind. that's that's, that's, that's we respectable. See it from that's respectable. You know that's what respectable. Saying? That's respectable. Did she feel like she was entitled? But because... but but let me let me let me let me speak from this point of view. Like we say, we don't know the whole situation. We don't know this woman, but at the same time, like, what is enough to a female to be like, God damn it, you know? You doing it? Big, but it's it's never enough. Yeah, it's I don't know what tight as hell. <laughs> nah, he oh, talking about the He's blood. lying. That motherfucker <laughs> smoking. This trying to hit this bitch nah, jaw, that, touching each other that, and shit. That, now we black on the blunt. He put, man. His, finger, he put <laughs> his fingers over the blunt and, and, and try to do like he, he do this. Bang popping out in the middle of my forehead. Well, no, but, but he hit the blunt with his fingers to his lips. So you're not gonna get a good smoke like that. We you're got not. two people in the room. Say your your blunt tight. It's tight. Did you say that? I didn't hear you say that. Look this at my man over there. This one is tight. Look at my man over there. Okay. Looking like a zombie when he hitting the blunt and shit, man. <laughs> shit tight. Hey, I was hitting that, but I don't know what. Maybe because I'm used to my rolling, but yeah. <coughs> what was he at with? Talking about the, the chick? Yeah, but we cool, though. Okay. I'm still getting high. <laughs> but, uh. <coughs> yeah. This is yeah, the not, not, yeah, radio. After cough. After cough. But, um. Yeah, you know. Me, she to me that's that's her like tendencies, but like it's I say, really not well, I don't believe in course. Mm. Please elaborate, please do because I just don't believe in whores. I, I just believe there's people that like sex a lot, and some people that don't. Well, um, society terms, society of terms, yeah. of whore. I don't believe in it. Okay, that's a difference. That those are like nymphos, and yeah, that's a different level when you start making sex a business affair. 